faithfulness hallelujah to your name i lift you up i am i lift you up i am jehovah king of kings i lift you up i am every day in my life i lift you up i am I lift you up, I am. I lift you up, I am. Jehovah King of Kings, I lift you up, I am. Every day in our lives, we lift you up, I am. Every day of my life, I lift you up, I am. I lift you up. I, I lift you up. I am, I am Jehovah King of Kings. Kings. We lift you up. I, I am. am every day in our lives. We lift you up. I am every day in our lives. We lift you up. King of kings, we lift you up, I am. Every day in our life, oh, we lift you up, I am. We lift you up, I am. We lift you up, I am. Jehovah, King of kings, we lift you up. I am uh, every day in our lives. We lift you up. I am uh, every day in our earth. We lift you up. I am uh, Father, you are wonderful. We give you praise, O Lord. Unto you be all glory, honor, adoration. You are wonderful, Lord there Jesus. No like unto you, unto you we are glory and honor. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, you, Lord, glory, glory. glory. Your Open name. our eyes. Open our Lord. hearts today. Lord, to name. behold your glory. Oh, yes, Father. Father, we are ready, Lord. Yes, Father. And we know you are ready oh, with yes, us. Lord. You have done it before, you will do it again. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You alone that's worthy, Lord. To be praised and adored. You alone, oh, you, you alone, alone that's what he knows. Worthy, worthy, Lord, to be praised and adored. You will earn oh, yeah, from the ages past, ages past, that was Oh, you are alone, oh, oh, 
for the world in love to be praised and adored. You alone, oh, you alone not worthy, Lord. Holy, worthy, Lord, to be praised and adored. You be faithful, Lord. You be faithful, Lord. From the ages. That is why your name is forever. Father, we bless your name. Glory to your holy name. You are wonderful, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to your name. Adoration to your name. We worship you, Lord. We magnify your name. We adore you, Lord, for you are wonderful. Glory to your holy name. Blessed be thy name, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Adoration to your name. Mosantori Abba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to your holy name. There is no like unto you. Hallelujah, Jesus. You alone that is righteous. You alone that is worthy. You alone that is able to do exceedingly abundantly. More than we think or ask according to the power that worketh in us. Glory, hallelujah. Let your Holy Spirit take us up. Let your Holy Spirit work in us. Let your name be glorified and be magnified. Hallelujah, Jesus. Open our inner hearts. Open our inner eyes, O Lord, to behold thy glory. Maso to riba shikiri baba. Le brusu to riba shindiria. Le keke riba shun to riamba sindiria. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Maso to riba shikiri baba 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 your name for your presence is here lord as you have gathered together in your name let your name be glorified and be magnified let your people be blessed let jesus be glorified lord we pray for more understanding of the revelation of your word father do it in us and through us holy spirit have your way the flesh profited nothing it is the Spirit that makes our life, and you have made us able ministers of the Spirit, not of the letter. Father, let your Holy Spirit take control. Let the flesh keep silence, and let Jesus be magnified. Let your name be praised forever. Let people come to the knowledge of the truth, oh, yes, for it is only the truth that can set free. Yes, Father, Glorify Jesus, your name, O oh Lord Jesus. Father, Lord, Thank you, Holy Father, Spirit. Father, Lord, God, Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. Be thou exalted, O Lord Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. We have worshipped. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. amen. Glory to Jesus. Father, as we are going to your word, Father, have your way, or not your name. Amen. Holy Spirit, do it your own way. Amen. Touch lives. Amen. 
give understanding. Amen. Liberate your people. Amen. Draw them to yourself. Amen. Snatch them from the hands of Satan. Amen. Ha, Father, give us understanding. Amen. Give your people understanding. Amen. May we be able to deliver ourselves from this untoward generation. Amen. The generation of the vipers. Amen. Father, take us through. Amen. Deliver us. Amen. Give us enablement. Amen. To deliver ourselves Amen. and to be on the side of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Without wasting time, we want to continue with the topic we treated last week. How to achieve eternal life. Eternal, eternal life. Eternal, eternal life. I want to live eternal life. Lord, save my soul. I want to live eternal life. Lord, save my soul. Eternal, eternal life. Eternal. Eternal life. I want to live eternal life. Lord, save my soul. I want to live eternal life. Lord, save my soul. That should be the goal of every believer. Your target, your aim, your goal must be how to be part of eternal life so from where we stopped last week how to achieve eternal life or achieving eternal life we have talked about the promise of god has said is the giver of life according to john 10 10 the thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The accuser of the brethren is the devil himself. He has no mercy, he has nothing good to offer anybody. And he goes about accusing people that he cannot control and maneuver their life. People that want to be on the side of the Lord. So be aware of this. Don't be ignorant of what is around you. Revelation chapter 2 verse 13 tells us, I know that it works. I know where you live. I know the environment you, you are living, where Satan has stent. How dare you have that knowledge that the devil is is your next door neighbor he lives where you live you are co-tenants on the planet earth i know your works in fact satan is the prince of this world what do you think he doesn't know about the system of the world, what goes on around you. So stop pretending. It's either you are on the side of the devil or you are on the side of God. The reason why every one of us must be born again. Jesus said to Elder Nicodemus, don't be surprised that I am telling you that you must be born again. So if you have not been born again, it's a must. Your good deeds cannot save you. Your know how to play your game cannot save you in this wicked world. Wickedness spread like fire. It's on the increase on a daily basis. And as the devil is gaining upper hand, over the system of this world 
physical darkness. Hatred. People don't hide it. People don't know they are left to their rights. The Bible says, as they could not retain the knowledge of God in their heart, He has released them to the reprobate hearts. He hands off. He handed them over to a reprobate are doing what is not convenient. Many people today, what they are doing is not convenient, but they are used to it anyway. And they believe they don't need to change. You should be ready to change at any time. You realize you are not going into the right paths. So, the word of God has showed us that nobody will take them away from me. Hallelujah. It shows it's not by mind or by power, but by total surrendering yourself to God. How can you surrender to God when you lack knowledge of your environment? When you lack knowledge that you need to dissociate yourself from ungodly friends, from ungodly environments, you do not need to walk as somebody who doesn't have understanding. This will take us to our first reading from Genesis chapter 3 without wasting time. Genesis 3, and this is the encounter of Mother Eve. After she received the visitation of the serpent, the old dragon, the serpent visited Mother Eve. It was after this visitation, the husband, Adam, named her Eve. Women, you have to be very, very careful and sensitive to the Holy Spirit leading. Here, the husband wasn't at home. And the Mother Eve entertained a stranger called serpents. Let's read from 13. Open your Bible with me to Genesis chapter 3 and from 13. So the Lord God asked the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, It was the serpent. He deceived me, and I ate. <laughs> Verse 14. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than any livestock and more than any wild animal. You will move on your belly and eat dust all the days of your life. I will put hostility between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. God now said to the woman, I will intensify your labor pains. You will bear children in anguish. Your desire will be for your husband, yet he will dominate you. And he said to Adam, because you listened to your wife's voice and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, do not eat from it. The ground is caused because of you. You will eat from it by means of painful labor all the days of your life. It will produce stones and tissues for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. You will eat bread by the sweat of your brow. Until you return to the ground, since you are taken from it, for you are dust, and you will return. 
to dust. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. This is the cause of the mess we found ourselves in. But upon all this error and mistake caused by our first mother, if if you read the next one, you will see where God still clothed them, even in their nakedness. Down to 23, you see there, where God still showed them mercy. And there at the last verse, a man was driven out and how Father Adam named his wife. If, if, without anybody telling you what if stands for, I think you should be able to know. And that is why every woman needs to rush to Jesus Christ for mercy. Every woman, man, but especially the women. Because without the Holy Spirit, how can you escape this wrong start from the Garden of Eden? By entertaining the devil. While I was preparing this message, I put out something here. Don't forget that God instructed the husband, and the husband must have told the wife. I put down this, and I will put it on Facebook after the service today. Disobedience through stubbornness is as a sin of witchcraft, and witchcraft is a serpentine spirit. What transpired between Eve and the serpent that day? <laughs> Only the Holy Spirit can interpret it to us. Because the serpent must have been entertained. The serpent must have been given a seat in, the, in their house through the woman. And the whole thing turned upside down. It brought a curse upon the woman. And it calls upon the husband. But if we can turn to the Lord, there is redemption in Christ Jesus. The reason why Jesus Christ came, for this reason, the Son of God manifested to destroy the work of Satan, the serpent, that disguised in the Garden of Eden, that came and deceive the wife who lured the husband into error. The Bible says he who finds wives find favor from the Lord. Not all women are good materials for to be a wife. Not all women. Because this stubbornness, if you read the word of God, from that chapter. The Bible says your desire will be unto your husband and he will rule over you. How many women want their husband to rule over them? Some women are still doing it to the detriment of their children, destroying their lives. They are ready to destroy the lives of men and they are even their children. Despite that, it caused them pain to give birth to these children. Why? Because of their possession. Many women are possessed with serpentine spirits. If you're a man listening to me, and you can't do without going to marriage, you need to pray very well. Not only to pray very well, you need to know who 
you are going to marry. Man is man or woman is unknown by the physical, unless by the spirit. The Bible says, "Who is a Jew? Who is a genuine Christian? A Jew is not of the outward, but of the spirit." Your partner, your mother, or your wife, even your children, that you didn't know the spirit behind them, you have not known them. Because she's my mother doesn't mean she's not the one holding on to your destiny. A lot of women are like that. Why are our women so wicked like that? You cannot blame them because the first mother, if entertained, the serpents and the serpent that possess her and everyone coming out from such a mother is bound to be possessed no wonder i've shared this testimony severally when i was a prophet in my former church i never knew i had serpentine spirit which came out for people to see physically Serpent is the head of all demons. Serpent is more wicked than other animals. Because that was the cause placed on him. The serpent. The highest of all demons is serpent. So substitute in character. Any woman that is not humble is possessed by serpentine spirits. Any woman that is stubborn, any woman that want to ride over the husband, any woman that want to lure children into error, you are a serpent. Unless you ask God to open your eyes, that should be the first thing first. You will know whom you are living with. It's something I used to tell people. The Bible says in first. Corinthians chapter 2, 13, oh, chapter 2, 15, verse 15, sorry. He that is spiritual judges all things. I think Father Adam, thank God the word of God was not available for him to have guided him. But God himself was the one giving him instruction. He went outside the commandments of God. God showed him all the trees in the garden. Don't go near. Don't touch to the point of eating. Yeah, because he listened to the wife. Should we say man must not listen to, the, to their wives? No. But you have to be spiritual. Because if you are not spiritual, you will know who you are staying with. And this is what I used to tell people. If you are a man, grown up, and you are about to marry, all your life you have not been having any, any spiritual problem. You, everything has been going on smoothly for you. To the point that you now felt it's time for me to marry. And after marriage, problems started coming. Check your wife. The fault is not coming from your mother. But if all your life things has been difficult, you've been struggling, you've been trying your best, check your mother. This is the generation. This is the beginning. This is the genesis, rather. The genesis of error that we find ourselves in. Because Mother Eve listened to the devil serpent and she was possessed by serpents. With anyone that want to, you know, break the hedge, serpent must bite. Eve broke the hedge and serpent entered into her possess her. People who call you themselves prophet, prophetesses, they carry serpentine spirit. 
Serpentine spirit has been troubling the world. Few weeks ago, I had a revelation. I saw two great pastors, Archbishop and Reverend Doctor, really snakes, tiny, tiny one, and you know, another grade of serpents. I said, wow, how can pastors be rearing uh, serpents? Then the word of God came to mind that, have you forgotten that Jesus said, ye generation of vipers. So the people we rear in the church, they want to come to church. The word of God you are teaching them or telling them, they don't want to list it. And if you want to force them to list it, they, they leave your church and go to another church where they will allow them. People want to come as they are. There's nothing bad in that. And they want to remain as they are. The word of God is not changing them. The word of God is not affecting them in any way. What are we saying? How can we achieve eternal life? Eternal life can be given. But it's for you to keep the way of eternal life. Is the way not to deviate from the pattern and the life of eternal life. You have to remain a candidate of eternal life. When the word of God is not there to affect you in any way, you, are, you, are, you have already departed from the way of eternal life. If chose to listen to the serpents, to entertain him, and that caused problem for the entire family. As men, you must not be careless. Stop not being serious with your life. The life of your children are so important. This was exactly what happened. And today we have greater percentage of women who are still possessed with the spirit of serpent. And that is why in any church, they are the one, the majority you will find in, in churches today. When you are talking about prophetess, they are the greater number. Only few numbers of men will join them. I decided to become one of them. Initially, I was writing the messages through this, this call, so-called prophetess. One day I just look at one particular woman I told Shodi. I said, if this one can be a prophetess, what stop me? And I surrendered myself. I started by emulating them. And you know, to whom you yield yourself to, you are a servant. Eve yielded herself to the serpent, and the serpent entered him. So any woman, don't joke with this. I am telling I was a prophet. And I never knew I had serpentine spirits until God in the open delivered me. God himself did it. Not that I went for a deliverance. I only went to attend VG. And at the VG, before the VG started, miracle happened in my life. Because God has seen my, the desire of my heart. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good fruit of the land. You will not suffer in vain. You will not labor in vain. But you have to be willing. You have to be submissive to the instruction of the scripture. Eternal life has been given. And nobody will take you away. But you have to remain. Full step by full step. You need to remain being guided. You need to remain in the path of righteousness. There's another passage I want us to read. We are familiar with John chapter 3, 1 to 8. Except a man is born again. If you are not born again, you cannot be delivered from that serpentine spirit. So many of our wives, we call wives today, Mothers of our children, they are serpents in nature, in character. Check their life. 
They want to override their husband. They want to show to the children that they love the children more than their father. It's a lie from the pit of hell. And those children, you know, they want to be loyal to their mother because if their mother, if they didn't listen to their mother, their mother can even beat her chest and say, except if it is not my breast that you have suck. The great fear in the heart of their children. So the children would rather obey them than to obey their father. And there is no right minded father that will not wish the children well. But the mothers want to prove to the children that they love them more than their father. And by so doing, they've destroyed, ruined so many lives of their children. Some mothers, they know how to visit false prophets, go to the herbalists. They want to know the future of their children. They want to know what is going to happen to them in the future. But so doing, they have sold out the glory of their children to those places. The herbalists, the false prophets, they are visited. We are talking about how to achieve eternal life. You need to realize that this is where you came from. This is the generation of the vipers. You, you came from the mother Eve. I, I'm sure that Eve means evil because it was immediately after the temptation and the falling of man. It was, you know, from this garden that God drove them out from the garden because the devil pushed them so that they can become like God. The serpent told the woman, no, God is a liar. He doesn't want you to be better for you. That deceit entered into her and she transferred to the husband. Today, no wonder Apostle Paul said, and that record is in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 8, it will have been better to those of you who are the age of marriage, marriage to, be, to remain single, not to marry. But because probably you might not be able to endure sexual urge, you should marry. But if you can control yourself, that's the best advice for those that are not married yet. He must have seen something, he must have known something that many people didn't know. Yes, ask people who has gotten the experience of how terrible women want to be when they want to be terrible. But we have few of them whose life has been regenerated. Those who have surrendered completely to God. Those who are pursuing eternity. Those who know that we are strangers in this world. Those who decided not to destroy their eternal life with this temporary life. Because in this world, we are just strangers. We are just passing through it. it. When you know about eternity, you will not allow this life you are passing through to hold you bound. How to achieve eternal life? You need to have eternal life in focus. You need to understand what eternal life means. And eternity you are not going to carry anybody no matter how much you think your husband loves you no matter how you try to mislead your children against their father no matter how you 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 you, you make your children to to remain stubborn you can imagine a child who goes to church but the behavior, the character is worldly. Try to correct them. They won't listen to you. 
because if you do, they will tell you they don't go to that church again with you. Check the mother. Check who is the mother of those children. When the mother cooperates with the husband, who is the father of the children? There's no how the children will not listen to the advice that will make them to be better in life. But when the husband is taking it this way and the mother is trying to let the children see that she loves them better. I have an experience of a woman. Anytime she wants to travel, she will lock up the smallest one in the room, buy her Chinese film. He alone will be, the, the child alone will be in the room watching Chinese film. Why? She had already spoiled the rest of them. And in order to allow the peace at home, the husband will have nothing to say. Because the children will see the one that is pampering them as the one who loves them, them most. But in the future, they will realize this, that the mother, because of the serpentine spirit in her, is the one that has been misleading them. Mothers, be careful. Eternity is going to be scarcity of women. From what we have been reading here, unless you repent, unless you change your attitude, you started it all along from the Garden of Eden. You put everybody into bondage and slavery. You place everybody under a curse. Curse to the women. Curse to the men. You will labor and sweat before you, you can eat. And today, people doesn't want to labor. Yahoo, Yahoo boys are in the churches. They are the ones riding the best cars in Africa, in Nigeria. They don't want to labor. The devil is still at work. Eternity is going to be me alone, you alone. So because of this, the Bible says, deliver yourself from this untoward generation. This is the generation of the vipers, generation of the serpents, generation of the snakes. Let us be careful. Let's see one or two more passages before we close. No. Now, I said John chapter 3. We're supposed to be our main text for today. Except a man is born of the water and of the spirit. He cannot enter. When you are born again, you come to the entrance. You begin to hear the word of God. How beautiful eternity is. And you want to come in unless you are born of the water and of the Spirit. Unless you are washed by the blood of Jesus. Unless you are washed by the water, which is the word of God. Unless the Spirit of God comes on the inside after the serpentine spirit must have left you. Listen and listen very good. If you don't allow the Holy Spirit inside of you, you will allow the serpentine spirits. Whether you are stubborn, whether you are arrogant, whether you are whatever you think you are, as long as the Holy Spirit, because verse 8 of John chapter 3, verse 8 says, after you have been born again, you will become like wind. The wind blows to wherever it pleases. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. If you are not born of the Spirit, you are born of Mother Eve, and you are born of a serpentine spirit. I hope you now understand who you are. 
If you are not born again, for you to be born again, you will confess your sins. You will surrender yourself. You will tell God that this is where you came from. Mother Eve. You can't be better than Mother Eve. Unless you come to Jesus. At any time you are hearing this gospel, you need to repent. You need to realize where you came from. I told you I was a prophet. I never knew I was a serpent. People were there. They were still alive to, today. Who witnessed it? The particular brother that shouted, Snake! I said, no, separation. From today, you won't go with me back home. Go your separate ways. Why is it you that saw the serpent that came out of me? Don't deceive yourself. If you are not for Jesus, you are for serpents. John 10, 10. The thief has come to stay, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus has come that we may have life and to have it in abundance. He's the giver of eternal life. He's the giver. And he's, he himself is eternal life. So for you to have eternal life, eternity, for you to be there, my brother, my sister, you must deal with serpentine spirit. Pastor, what are you saying? If you don't have the Holy Spirit, if you don't have an encounter with Jesus Christ, you carry serpentine spirits. You may not know. I never knew for so many years that I was having serpentine spirit on the inside of me until my deliverance took place. There could be other demons that has possessed you. The serpent is the greatest of them all. And that is the image of Satan himself. Who secretly, at the back of Adam, visited the wife. So, I am not condemning women. I am not condemning wives. I'm not condemning mothers. I'm telling you to be more careful and be aware of yourself and work out your salvation with fear and trembling because that was where you came from. That was what the first mother caused everyone. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. If you read Isaiah 53, it talks about all this suffering, fasting, and prayer. I was counseling somebody from Nigeria a few days ago who was in a particular denomination. And she said she was on seven days fasting and prayers. Let me tell you the truth. Fasting for days, whether seven days, three days, 21 days, or 40 days, whatever. We have only two kingdoms. The kind of fasting God requires, that is in Isaiah 53, from verse 1, the type of fasting and prayer. If you don't have the nature and the character of Christ, whatever fasting you are into is to give you deeper, to take you deeper into the secret courts, into the spirit realm, demonic spirit realm, to get you closer to the serpentine spirits. It's like this words you are hearing, they are too deep for you. Yes, it has to be deep. It has to be deep. And it must be deep. Yes, let, let, let's see Isaiah 58. Let's see. No, 53. Before you will come to 58. Yes. The, the, the type of fasting that God wanted is in 58. Isaiah 58. From verse 6. Isn't the fast I chose? Yes. But 53. I think there's something for us there. In Isaiah 53. Yes. Uh, 
This is from verse 10. Yet the Lord was pleased to crush him, and he made him sick when you make him a restitution offering. He will see his seed, he will prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will succeed by his hand. He will see it out of his anguish, and he will be satisfied with his knowledge. My righteous servant will justify many, and he will carry their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him the many as a portion, and he will receive the mighty as spoil, because he submitted himself to death and was counted among the rebels. Yet he bore the sin of many and interceded for the rebels. We are aware that that is talking about the Messiah, the one that came to rescue us. He shed his blood for many of us. Have you come to the knowledge of Christ? Have you come to the knowledge of restitution? Have you come to the knowledge of recovery yourself? Because there's an opportunity for us to recover ourselves. God can take you from that level to a place of recovery. To those of you who are not privileged to have come from a responsible family, from a responsible mother, not that all the mothers want to be wicked, but let me tell you, it is natural. You don't need to quarrel with them. You don't need to see them as your enemy. But come closer to your maker, the one that will rescue you, that will deliver you. And you become not put or let me say come that is put in a bottle. They will see your glory. They will not be able to tamper with your glory. And that is when you come to Christ, when you are born again, when you become like wind. You blow to where you are listed. You become like wind and you succeed. You make progress. You become untouchable unless you are born again by the Spirit of God. Concerning the kind of fast that God directed, come to Isaiah 58. We won't have time to read from verse 6. But the kind of, I want to talk about the kind of wrong fasting people are fasting and what will happen to them. When you are fasting wrongly, you will be, you will be communicating or you will be, you will be, you know, the demons will be ministering to you. It happened to me. The, the lady I cancer, they were eating fruits. 1982, I was into trance, eating fruits with fasting. Do you know, I saw a creature with two horns. God opened my eyes. I still never believe. I thought I was the one seeing strange things. I now approach my colleague who happened to be a woman. Woman can take anything. And she responded. She said, this is the secret that has been kept for me for a long time. I expected her to say, what rubbish are, are, are you seeing? That you are seeing demonic spirits. But she never said that. She said, this has been kept for me for a long time. I should hold my peace. And me, I couldn't hold my peace. I started speaking out. 1982. And the next thing for me is to run mad. But God with me. God on my side. This is me today. It happened to a junior sister of mine. She was also a prophetess. She went into trance. She came back to narrate what she saw. She couldn't. She ran mad. That led to her death. If you are fasting in a wrong, a wrong fasting, this is where it will take you to. But if you compromise, or let me say if you can compromise your faith, if you can take it as if took it, entertain serpent and pass it to the husband that brought a curse upon her and even the husband and it was transferred to their children you know the story of Cain and Abel 
You see? And still today, still working. I am telling you this so that you know how to deliver yourself. You know how not to play with your life. You know how not to be careless with your life. That from generation to generation. And now Jesus said, ye generation of the vipers. You see, the, the, the untoward generation. What do you expect from this generation? Wickedness will multiply, will increase. Those in power, they don't want to leave the seats for the younger ones to be there. There's no amount of shout that the, the, the youth can shout in Nigeria. They will continue to kill them. Because those that are there, by their own volition, they were there by the devil who planted them. Start from the Garden of Eden. Except a man is born again, cannot see the kingdom of God. Maybe this is where we are going to stop and continue next week. I am preparing you for eternity. Eternity is the best place for you. We are strangers in this world. Are you ready to join us? Keep reading the word of God. Keep working in obedience with understanding. Fasting is not bad. When you fast, if you read Isaiah 28, read it again next week. You see the kind of fasting that God wants. The fasting that will affect your character, your behaviors. The one that you 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 see you you are loose the, the, the loins of unrighteousness. You see somebody suffering, you feel for the person. Not just suffering yourself by not eating food, stuffing yourself. No. That's not the right one. That one is not bad. Maybe you want to shed some, you know, uh, weight. Uh -huh. That is for the body, for the flesh. Or you want to be humbled by force by fire. You know, when you are fasting, you know, you, 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 you feel somehow. People will see it on your face. Uh -huh. But that is not the real fasting that God requires from us. Honesty, transparency, joy in the Holy Ghost. Those that Galatians chapter 5 stated, you know, the spirit of the flesh and the spirit of the spirit. You know, that is the right thing that God requires from you and I. But when you now fast and you are, when you want to bring, you bring with fruit. I'm telling you, you are communing with demonic spirits. It's not everybody that will see it. it. It may take time for some people, but for others, or some people, they see it and they were introduced to it. The reason why many people are possessed today, people go to church, one, one Lord, let me, and let me tell you, at the end of the day, there is no prophet or prophetess that is not born again, that is not having serpentine spirits. You hear me right. But you can be delivered. God delivered me. And today, no snake can come near me. I will bruise the head. I will, I will even cut the head and the tail. And I will eat the flesh. Hallelujah. And nothing by any means shall hurt me. Eternity. How can you achieve it? It's the gift of God. But you have to come. You know into the kingdom. You have to be part of the system. You have to be in the kingdom. If you are not in the system, you are right in the hand of the devil. Yes, the serpents. The greatest of the wild animals. So soft in nature. Wickedness. Ushemi Ubami. Enyi ya a change a yipada. To ba mari okunrin la rin awon to ba ti se bo se drama gan ni won se wa ri pe boyo kunrin ba won luju gbugbugbo gbugbugbo so many of us we are careless o bere lo ma pa se fun e it's not right that is the spirit of the serpent god bless you no body with the spirit of serpent that will have eternity that will live with christ forever eternity Jesus is 
eternity and is the way to eternity. God bless you. If you have not given your life to Jesus, it's an opportunity for you. Jesus himself is the eternity and is the way to eternity. He's the one that has the key of eternity. Hallelujah. God bless you. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for all that have listened to the word. Thank you for all that will take action and will not be careless with their life. I saw a program of uh, on WhatsApp, a woman in the den of the kidnappers and she requested and she happened to be the pastor's wife from the conversation and the woman was saying how can a child of God be talking like that how can she said to the daughter, she called the name of the daughter. What is Shelley? What is Shelley now? Oh, Shelley, oh, Shelley now. Only back, boss, or pay back me big bag. I, where? First of all, what do you expect her to have said? Father, Jesus said it into thy hand, I commit my life. If this will take me to eternity, allow it. Father, if it is not from you, there's nothing you cannot do. I commit my heart unto you. They don't like you. About 5,000. That is a work be to pay ransom to the kidnappers. I pray that will not be your portion. Amen. I pray you will not fall into their hands. Amen. I pray heaven will intervene into what is going on in Nigeria. Amen. Oh, this is a terrible situation. This is a, a wicked generation. This is the spirit of serpentine spirit. Father, I decree don't fold your hands. Amen. Don't close your eyes. Amen. Give Nigeria a second chance. Amen. Rescue your people. Amen. Deliver that nation. Amen. Father, have mercy. Amen. Father, have mercy. Amen. Father, have mercy. Amen. And those that want to keep eternity, may they not fall away. Amen. May we not fall away. Amen. Help us to the end. Amen. We shall see Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. amen and amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus.